well, thank you. I appreciate everybody being here. Um, thank you for joining us on our 10th annual Lights of Love ceremony. My name is Amber Nix, and I'm the shelter manager here at the Hermitage. This is a celebration of both humans and pets alike. Thank you for being here to honor those that we have loved and lost. This year was a difficult year for the Hermitage. A total of 50 of our Hermitage kitties crossed the Rainbow Bridge due to illness or expiration. Every loss takes a small piece of our heart. Our staff and volunteers all love these kitties like their very own. The Hermitage is a family. Some family members just come briefly to visit while others spend their entire life here at the shelter. We are blessed to provide a loving home for any length of stay. Now I'd like to welcome the Reverend Mary Trainer as she provides our blessing for the animals. Okay. Takes a minute to get ready, you know. <laughs> and uh, the technology is more complicated though it's supposed to simplify things. Um, I want to welcome you all here tonight, and I uh, am aware that this is the 10th occasion of this celebration of life for uh, the cats that you've known and helped and adopted and loved along the way, as well as their human families and, and the members of the, the Hermitage family as well. Um, when I'm new to something like this, I always feel like I've missed out on so much. and. Um, and it's kind of a regrettable thing. It's kind of like, wow, I, 10 years, and I could have been a part of that, but I couldn't be because I was still in California. But um, anyway, I am signed up to volunteer with this agency, and uh, so I hope to be seeing you all around and, and next year at the same occasion. 10 times. That's how many times that uh, the group here has come together to, on a cold winter night, um, to reflect and remember, we take this time purposefully and with resolution to rest together in celebration and reflection. We are honored to hold this sacred plate space for, for laughter, for tears, for stories. This year was particularly difficult, as you heard Amber say, for the Hermitage. Um, had to say goodbye to a number of sanctuary kitty cats and uh, some cats that had been with the Hermitage for some years, in some cases, cats who changed lives every day for the better with their presence just by being who and what they are. Cats who were part of our work landscape. Cats who were loved and adored every day that they were here with us. Thank you for joining us on this chilly night and for taking a few moments during the whirl of December activities to pause, reflect, and remember. And as I recite their names, feel free to add names of your own, of your own loved pets or pets that you've lost in the past and have never, you're not done grieving that. And so this is a place to bring that, to say that, and to have that be honored because you know what, everybody here gets it. And that's what's really, truly wonderful. Um, tonight we will lift all these names up to the to the stars to the heavens and let our echo let our love echo off the clear winter air air and tonight let us join our hearts and remember our loved ones past and present let us remember with joy even as tears twinkle in our eyes and dance down our cheeks this year we lost Bit. Trigger. Pulan. Skia. Carlene. Tuthiana. <laughs> Let's see. Popoki. Skibar. Kipani. Workat. Marbella, Noir, Sir, Tinka, Lot, Tuscany, Reba's fourth and fifth little songs, Nunez, Rapineau, March, 
Wildcat, Nero, Wren, Bowie, Twinkle, Tachometer, <laughs> Soul to Soul, Fireflies, Stronger, Tickety, Talk, Kit, Ten, Flurry, Jen, Stabler, Bixby, Brandy, Uriel, Boki, Chester Cheeto, Tybalt, Navarro, Camelot, Lucy Lou, Baronis, Burton, Yams, Sliver, Hyena, Turducken, Mira Jane, Italy, Haas, Dre, Amulet, Captain Felix, Conyer, Shania, Spice, Fusebox, Vanilla, Argo, Bodie, Prop, Tire, Pruitt, Brisket, Odin, Benzo, Dasani, Amalfi, Squeegee, Swirl, Russell, Rusty, Jackie O, Larif, Googly, Funyan, Chow Main, Lo Main, <laughs> Friend, Deets, Pete's, Scuba, Kaina, Tresem, Mata Mata, Capri, Moana, Yeti. This would be a good time to offer your names into the air if you wish. Marche. Stand, stand. Okay. No. Jeremy. Bella. and all others who are held in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. I would like, like to now introduce Kristen Bem, our board president. Kristen has volunteered at the Hermitage for over five years. She's been an integral part of the positive changes that have happened here at the Hermitage. Kristen has one of the kindest hearts and the most patience of anyone I've ever seen. In short, Kristen is a bit of a saint, and everybody here absolutely adores her. So, Kristen. <laughs> Welcome everyone to our Lights of Love event. I am so happy that you could join us. I'd like to say a big thank you to the employees and volunteers who helped with this event, and a special shout out to Eva. Thank you all for coordinating this fabulous event. They worked very hard. I'd like to honor and recognize the following wonderful legacy givers. The family of Sherry Fowler, the Rudolph Dankel Estate, Charles Algasser Trust, Estate of Richard Alcott, Corrid Family Trust, Estate of Carolyn Ashworth, Edna Kardish Trust, Victor and Lydia Bradford, the Cheshire Family Giving Fund, Connie and Rodney Worse. Words cannot express how appreciative we are for their generosity towards the Hermitage. Their gifts have helped felines in need and we are extremely grateful. It has been a tough year for many people as well as here at the Hermitage. My mom, who was also my best friend, passed away this past February, so I understand all too well what kind of year it has been for many. 
here at the Hermitage, we had to say goodbye to several of our beloved feline friends, including Captain Felix. I'd like to emphasize that though it is sad to lose one of our furry babies, please remember that they were warm, safe, fed, loved, and knew that they mattered here at the Hermitage. When talking to my mom about the Hermitage, she always mentioned how she could never work or volunteer at an animal shelter because she realized how tough it is on many days and how draining it can be emotionally and that she would want to take home all the animals. We agree that it takes a very special individual to work, volunteer, and donate to an animal shelter. So my deepest and most sincere thank you to the following. The donors who are the heart of the Hermitage, their heartfelt contributions and generosity are why the Hermitage continues to thrive. It's because of you we can provide this wonderful home, food, water, medical care, and love to our cat residents. You help us share with the community, provide comfort to the human aspect in our programs, educate, educate people about FIV and FELV and so much more. You make it possible for us to touch the lives of both animals and humans and give a home to our beloved felines. The volunteers and board members who are the spirit of the Hermitage, they donate their time, focus, resources, expertise, and energy. Because of the volunteers, the cats are spoiled and pampered. All are dedicated to help in any way they can so that the Hermitage continues to prosper and rescue as many felines as possible, as well as reach out to the community. This also includes our food pantry that is dedicated to assist people in feeding their animals. The employees who are the soul of the Hermitage, they put all their heart, being, and soul into everything they do for the welfare of the cats. It's phenomenal. I recognize how rewarding it is, but also how challenging and sometimes heartbreaking it is every day. Thank you for sharing your soul and compassion with our furry babies. You make a positive difference in their lives and those around you. Truly, a part of me would like to spend my last years in the mature me hours room because of the care and the love and the spoilness I know I would receive. Most important of all to the past, current, and future feline residents, you are loved and you matter. Thank you so much, everyone, for your heart, soul, and spirits, and happy holidays. And now I'd like to present Amber again, our shelter manager extraordinaire, who does about everything around here. And we are very appreciative, the board of directors are very appreciative of Amber, and of course, all the employees here at the Hermitage. Amber, thank you. So I would like to thank everybody again for coming out to tonight's Lights of Love event. This is my fifth year at the Hermitage and at this event. This year we're doing something a little different and we're spotlighting an amazing organization called Not One More Vet. There's an emerging vet crisis and Not One More Vet is an organization that provides the needed support for those in the vet field and in need. There's more information available on the table near the main entrance. So please take a look when you get a chance. And as I mentioned before, the Hermitage has lost 50 of our beloved friends this year. And that takes a toll on everyone who calls the Hermitage home. One or more of our veterinary staff was present for every single one of those 50 losses. I cannot express the gratitude or admiration, excuse me, I have for the staff for ensuring that every single one of those kitties left knowing that they were loved and most of all wanted. It's not easy to say goodbye, and I know the pain lingers from every single farewell. Organizations like Not One More Vet and now the new National Suicide Hotline 988 help remind our friends and loved ones that they are good enough and they will never be alone. Our memorial star this year is dedicated to Burton and Brisket, two of the more popular kitties with staff and volunteers. Brisket wasn't welcoming to everyone, but once he liked you, he was a big teddy bear. Burton, I could go on for hours about. 
he loved people, and he loved people food, and he loved people who gave him people food. <laughs> he was a handsome fellow, and he didn't really like other cats, but he loved people, probably because of the food. <laughs> We miss both of these boys, as well as all of the other beautiful souls who called the Hermitage home. Each one of these lights will represent one of those souls who may not have been adopted, but were loved all the same. We can get the lights on. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Please enjoy some refreshments inside. If you're interested in a tour, we can start signups near the main entrance. And please feel free to roam around the Remembrance Garden, check out our bricks, and have a great night. And please be safe and have a happy holiday. Thank you. Flurry this year. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah. That's what it's called. Like,